duck fart TV. What's up everybody, JD Duck here, and uh, today I wanted to try something a little bit different. First, I want to go ahead and recap what happened in our last mission. We took off in a flight of eight aircraft carrying bombs to drop on a V-1 site. Then one got shot down, then another, then another, and then one got damaged and turned back home. Then another shot down, then another. I was the only one left, so I dropped my bombs and made it home. And that's how we came home with only two out of eight aircraft. Now that we're done with that, let's take a few moments and talk about what is going on in the war around April 19th, 1944. It was around this time that an air raid campaign on London, often referred to as the Little Blitz, was coming to its final end. Operation Steinbach, as the Germans called it, was a strategic bombing campaign by the Luftwaffe, or German Air Force, that targeted London and southern England. It was a response by Hitler's forces as a sort of revenge for the effective bombing campaign that had been carried out by the British Royal Air Force throughout 1943. It wasn't much of a revenge, though. Although some of the attacks did claim heavy casualties and damage, it was mostly ineffective. Out of 474 bomber aircraft utilized for the campaign, 329 were destroyed. The casualty rate was around 70% with an average rate of 77 aircraft destroyed in a single month. Many folks actually believed that the reason for the ineffectiveness of the attack at that time and the Luftwaffe in general was because of some amateurish leadership by a man named Hermann Göring, who was the commander-in-chief of the Luftwaffe at the time. After that point in the war, really only V1, V2, missiles and rockets were used to attack British cities. I mean, really, the British had all but owned the skies at that point. This may have only been a small event during the war, but because of the misstep by the German leadership, they had virtually no aircraft to mount a counteroffense on the D-Day invasion on June 6, 1944. There you guys go. I really hope you enjoyed a little bit of tidbit of history here. On the next video, we're going to dive right back into the missions with Gabby Gabreski and continue our journey in the P-47. Let me know if you guys want to see more content like this one mixed into the series or not. Best way to do that is by hitting the like button or leaving a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again. I love you guys so much. Peace. Duck Farm TV.